Yeah, I kind of just switched back to sitting down for this video and ignore my rat's nest. <laughs> I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, books, books. I, I, I'm a book addict. There's so many books. <laughs> I'm curious. Let's see how hot it is outside because now I'm like legit curious. But it's 90 degrees, but there's 64% humidity and it feels like it's 100. Guess what? This isn't the hottest time of the day. That's around 2 or 3. 2 to 4. Those are the hottest hours of the day. And we're already at feeling like 100. Shit. Hello everyone, Stephanie here. Today's video is going to be my... July wrap up. I sadly only read, what is it? One, two, three, six books this month. And like when I show you the books, it's like, oh, six books is decent, but uh, most of these books took absolutely no time to read. I didn't read that much this month. This month was just definitely being lazy. At least I got six books in. One of them was a reread, and then the other five were, you know, new books. So the first book I read this month was. The 100 Day 21, which is book two in the 100 series. Just found out there's going to be a book four. So now I'm excited to get to book three, knowing it doesn't all wrap up. But I really did enjoy this. I gave it a 3.75. Again, my only issues with this is the fact that the characters are a little shallow. The whole story is kind of shallow at this point. It hasn't like really dug in deep, but it's still super enjoyable. Like, I really do enjoy reading this. If you like Balark, read this freaking series but I think it just keeps getting better and no spoilers or anything but I really did enjoy it I didn't review it I don't know why maybe I will but I just I really enjoyed it I love the different aspects of the story and just so much happened so I really did enjoy this one I reread The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon it was even better than the first time I read it oh my god five out of five stars for sure again it's one of my all-time favorite books I loved it. I love being back in this world with Paige and Warden and just all of the things that happened. Now I'm really excited to pick up um, the Mime Order, but I'll probably do that like next month because I don't want to rush into it because I still have to wait a few months for the third book in the series, but I love this. If you haven't read it, go read it. Just saying. The Alpha Drive by Kristen Martin. This book was a 4 out of 5 stars for me. It was super good. It's about a girl named Emery Parker who lives in a world that she doesn't know or she's living a life she doesn't know isn't actually real. At some point in her life they put her and the majority of the rest of the world into a place called Dormant which is like they're in a coma so the life they're living is really more like a dream. It is super fast paced, super fun. I thought it was so enjoyable. The only thing I wish it had is that it was a little longer. But after reading the second book, which I'll talk about in a minute, I realized kind of like what this was and it was super good. It's super fun. You get kind of like really sucked into this. The writing is super easy to get into. The world is super easy to like imagine and just visualize and it's just so good. And it's weird because it's like has like contemporary aspects in the first book along with, you know, the science fiction aspects and like the futuristic dystopian. Really like it. Of course, if I have a review for anything, I'll link it down below. Forgot to mention that earlier. There once were stars by Melanie McFarlane. This is about a girl named Nat. Fudge, Stephanie, why you always gotta be forgetting names like that? It's a story about a girl named Nat who lives in a dome that protects them from the outside world because there was a virus that spread and because of the virus and people were getting sick, they put them in the dome. But as a result of the virus, in order to clean the earth, they did a cleansing war, so radiation and stuff, and that's why they stayed in the dome for four generations until one day, Nat is in the outer areas of the dome, and she see, looks out and she sees people, and everything just kind of unravels from there. I do believe this is a standalone. I have a review for this. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a three out of five stars. There was just issues that I had with it. A love triangle I thought was irrelevant. Uh, there was parts where I felt like the characters just kind of got on my nerves, but not in a bad way. Like, these are very realistic characters, and that's why they got on my nerves, because I was like, oh, that's the kind of character I don't like. 
other than that the story is super visually appealing it's just you can imagine everything i like the world it all makes perfect sense which is something else you don't see very often but it was just super enjoyable though i just wish it would have had more and in some parts a little bit longer in other parts a little bit less and there was just a lot of back and forth and inconsistencies but that was with the characters other than that again super good review down below i read the order of omega the second book okay this comes out november 8th and yes it comes out november 8th i asked the author for this and she was super nice to let me like review it which i'm going to review as soon as i'm done with this so it'll be up today or tomorrow but this book obviously it can't say anything because of spoilers but it was so good I loved just how it continued, how it progressed, the characters, you get a little bit more into them. There was, so, the only thing I wish it had was that it was a little bit longer in some areas. Other than that though, the story continued super awesome and it ended super like awesome. My question is, what the hell's gonna happen in the third book? I'm just over here like, what, what direction? It's like genres, man. Mix of genres, super, just love it. It's one of those things too that it reads like a script script I guess in a way or I visualize it as a TV show like this would be such an awesome like TV show the CW should totally pick it up it's just the way it's written it's one of those things where you kind of like fly through really easy and you can just imagine everything but 4.5 out of 5 really enjoyed it highly recommend and the last book I read this month was actually my absolute other than the bone season was my favorite and I just finished it yesterday I was like I need to finish this I can't carry it on to the next month oh my god okay I know that this is an unpopular opinion and I don't give three flying flock of birds because I loved the match series okay I loved crossed I gave this a five out of five stars I had no issues with this book I loved everything that happened I love the character development I love what the characters go through the characters emotions I love the plot development I like how the plot transitions from one thing to the other beautifully and it leaves me like oh my god there were so many like tears throughout this book there was things that happened that I was just like why <gasps> why or that's beautiful and oh my god that's so sad I know that I think I understand why people don't really like this because this series is similar to the fifth wave series except the fifth wave the first book is the exception to the rest of the books in that series because the fifth wave you know it's super like action-packed fast-paced lots of things happening but Infinite Sea and The Last Star are very character driven and not like character development driven, but character emotion driven. Like the emotions that they go through, everything is mental and just how they process it. And I feel like the series is like that. This is about the characters and their emotions and what they're dealing with as things are moving on. Not so, and how they're dealing with the whole purpose of the book as opposed to plot develop, like plot driven. And I love that because these are slower reads and not just that, but Ali Condi has some beautiful writing there was a there's a couple of highlightings oh this is the first one I love this line because in the end you can't always choose what to keep you can only choose how you let it go I was just over here like what the I literally highlighted I don't usually highlight in books not because oh I don't want to highlight in my book no I don't highlight because I don't Oh my god. There's just so many things. I love this book. I really, I still don't understand why people dislike it. But I, I mean, like, I understand all at the same time. But I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm going to review it because there's things I need to talk about. And I love it so much. But those are the books I read this month. What are some books you've read? Have you read the ones that I've read? What are your thoughts on the books that I've read? And just comment them all down below. Because I love comments. I love talking to y'all. You know, my howlers. We should actually all be howlers. We're howlers or Amorotics or Sassanac slash Jamie's that's actually a really good name we're all howlers because okay anyway let me got let me not get weird I really love this I'm just like fuck why do people hate it so much like why do people just like this why do they think it's a filler book I'm just like ah! okay that is everything I'll see you in my next video goodbye